Mr. Matthews gave me a message okay. for you. He said when it was convenient to head into Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Okay. Oh, he'll find something, too. He always does. Will you be well now, Mr. Morgan? I'm always well, Miss Grimshaw. Putting it, James. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Oh, please. I know how to work with good people, Seamus, and I work in the right way. Well, they all say that. I never met an idiot that called himself one. Very true. In that case, I'm an idiot. But I know how to get things done efficiently. Look at me. Why would I lie about this? This is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen. He's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that. And then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? You're the one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus's old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. So what's the story with that Emerald Ranch? You find out anything else? A little. Owner's a nasty type by all accounts. Seamus is sure scared of him. 
That's not saying much. Something strange about the place. Used to be a saloon there, general store. Now it's all closed up, but they seem to have money. Sounds worth a look around. For sure. Seamus also mentioned the rancher's daughter a couple of times. How he used to see her around all the time, but now she never leaves the house. Probably just sweet on her. That what you call finding out a little? Once he opens up, seems Seamus does like to talk. Hopefully not too much. Must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. Distract him by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Let's do it now. Sure. All right, then. Don't follow me. Wait until I have them distracted outside, then sneak into the house. Your father home, son. Sure is. Get him down here, please. Get him down here. Get lost, mister. I was lost for many years. I was lost many years. Now I'm not. And you know what? Oh, <laughs> here he is. Are you the father of the house? Sure. Pleasure to meet you. I was just chatting with Junior here. You sell it something for me? Free.
Get on, dear boy. <laughs> we must be able to go faster than this. Are we heading in the right direction? Less problems, the better right now. Just need to get this back to Seamus in one piece, and it's a good day's work. So what were you able to lift from the house? Found some money stashed away. Must be a few hundred, not too bad. Not bad at all. Nope. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. Looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. <laughs> it wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye, and as usual, he did not flinch. <laughs> exactly. How long you think we're going to stick around here for? Not sure. Till we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Dutch has a new money chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. I hope it's not stashed in town like we did in Blackwater. Even if we had to dump the money from the ferry, we could have at least got the rest out if it was hidden someplace else. No, I think we've learned our lesson there. And a few other lessons besides. I hope so, but I ain't so sure about that. So, here's something strange. James was telling me how he also makes these little trinkets for people from animal claws, teeth, and uh, such like. Good luck charms. What, like a rabbit's foot? I suppose, but he was claiming they really do work. Don't they all? Oh, ye of little faith. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Yeah. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. 
Park that thing in here. Quickly. Nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Ah, I'll catch you. Stay out of trouble. Do come in. What can I do for you? Old Crawford at Carmody Dell had a wagon stolen from his barn. Ain't sure it was his to start with, mind you. You ain't been through in a while. Got everything you need. Have a look. So I hear someone robbed a stagecoach from Bob Crawford. I figure it probably weren't his in the first place. How you feeling about things now? What things? This place. The gang. Been here a few weeks now. Good, I think. Better. I figured more folks would have cut and run on us, given everything that happened. Like Dutch always says, a lone wolf don't last long out on the plains. He does like to trot that one out. People see that, especially when they get a few years on them. Even someone like Micah. There's a couple of folks I wish had cut and run. Maybe they'd say the same about you. Hello, sir. You sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Just wait. Okay, let's go. Sure. You go into the house. I'll go find this wagon. Maybe take a peek through the windows before you go in. Make sure it's all quiet.
Got no money, mister. <clears throat> somehow I don't believe you. Where is it? Under my bed. Get on, dear boy. Nicely done. We got everything we needed. Yeah, one of them spotted me. But he ain't going nowhere for a while. Damn it, Arthur. Okay, well, let's just get back to Emerald Ranch and finish things up. 